What's up, Internet? Corey Zamier here, collecting with Corey. It's time for a quick pickups video. I usually wouldn't be doing these on a Saturday. However, I realize that I'm supposed to be posting this video in about six hours. Eh, eight hours, something like that. And I don't have it edited, so I wanted to do something quick. I wanted to get a little bit more current on my pickups. These pickups are from pawn shops, game stores, and the flea markets this past weekend and the weekend before when I didn't feel or wasn't up to filming. I think last weekend I was pretty sick, so I couldn't even talk, so I didn't film anything at the flea market. I went, but didn't film. So let's get into it. And of course, because I just have everything in a pile in front of me, I'm going to go a little bit out of order. Um, first up, big shout out to Gamers Manuel. So I'm at the flea market this morning and he hooked me up with some items he found out of Savers. I guess he does not collect for Tiger Electronics or anything like that. So he hooked me up with a play action football Tiger Electronic. And also in the bag that he had was a little mini Frogger, which actually Alicia was playing a little bit earlier. So that's really cool. Big shout out to Gamers Manuel. Go check out his channel. Um, between the two of us, do we have Connecticut on lock? Maybe. I don't know. Is there any room for anybody else game hunting here? Hard to tell. Not easy to say. But... Uh, let's also go with what else I found at the flea market today at a vendor that always has some stuff to look through. However, not somebody I purchased from very often. He had some toys today. Mighty Morphin Power Ranger toys. He had two Green Ranger toys. These are both the head flippers, the original, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger toys. I don't think there was any others that didn't have head flippers. I think these were like the OG... OG Mighty Morphin Power Ranger figures. Uh, of course, he's missing his gold vest on both of them and all of his weapons, but they're both in about the same shape. Picked them up, and also this motorcycle that was sitting very close to them. Um, I know it's Power Rangers. I think it's Time Force. I am not very familiar with it. Did a little bit of research on it, and that's the only thing I came up with was Time Force based on the uh, 2000 date on here. Uh, five dollars for those toys not bad deal um, probably gonna hold on to one of the the uh, Green Ranger figures and put one aside for getting like all the other figures basically for Power Ranger figures I feel like the old ones you're much better off trying to sell lots of them rather than individual figures so I'm gonna build up a few before I try and get rid of them um, also at the flea market today, uh, interesting find, Zelda 2, Adventures of Link, um, paid $5 for this, only game the vendor had, uh, got there just as he was putting it on the table, he actually had a total of three items out on his table, this was the third one and I scooped it up right away, very happy to get it for five dollars it's gonna be a recouper um only goes for about 15 right now but at conventions this one's a little bit more expensive so maybe if i do set up at a convention i will hold on to that for that i don't know um so let's go into some pawn shop pickups because i do want to end on flea market last week because that was probably the best deals I had um, at one of my pawn shops okay, these were from a few weeks ago apparently uh, I picked up these two PS1 games we got the arcade party pack that has 720 smash TV clacks rampage super sprint and Tubin from Midway 
pretty cool little uh, collection there. And you could actually play one of the games on there up to three players with the multi-tap. Seems like a lot of work, though. Um, and also Metal Gear Solid VR missions. I'm pretty sure I paid $5 total for these. I don't think it would have been. No, I paid $8. That's what it was. Because I remember this was the first, like, small amount of PS1 games I got from this pawn shop. Because I didn't know specifically how much they charged for PS1 games. A lot of their other stuff is, like, they have stickers for it. PS1 games, they didn't. And that's how I learned that they charge apparently $4 for PS1 games. Um, not the best deal. I think Arcade Party Pack does have a little bit of value to it, though. Um, yeah, another pawn shop picked up these two games. I believe I paid $5 total. I don't think it was $5 each. Like I said, this was from a few weeks ago. We got Cameo. Um, Elements of Power, this was, I believe, a launch title for the Xbox 360. And also Grand Theft Auto V, which uh, I think the guy meant to have in the case, but didn't have in the case, so I kind of caught him slipping there. He did catch it, and he still sold it to me for 5 bucks, so I'm very appreciative of that. Very cool pawn shop chain that we have a whole bunch of them. Really hit or miss, depending on if they have good video game deals at each of them, though. Um, more pawn shop pickups, uh, at another chain, at the same chain, different location, uh, picked up these two games, picked them up for $5 each, we got Pure Pinball, <laughs> I, I feel like every video now I have, like, this tongue twister moment where I just fuck it up, and I leave it in, uh, Pure Pinball for the Xbox, the original, it says only on Xbox, it's also on PC apparently. Um, another pinball game, kind of going for a pinball sub-collection, like any pinball games I find I kind of pick up, and a very common recouper on this channel, Michael Jackson, the experience, gonna go for about 10 to 15. So, basically paid for that whole pickup with just that one recouper. Um, at a game exchange... Uh, that I haven't been to in a little while. I've kind of been cutting back on going to Game Exchange because I don't want to spend money on stuff for the collection when I could be finding stuff, recouping with it. You can't basically go into a Game Exchange and recoup, you know? So, when I saw that this Game Exchange had Adventures of Lolo 2 for $19, basically... Uh, really kind of dirty cartridge. The back is perfectly fine, but of course, those are interchangeable. The front, you can't really do much. You can try and clean it up. I don't know how well it's coming across. It's really kind of like a two-toned cart, basically, right there. See that? Um, a lot of the other sold listings for this recently are going for 25 to 30 Um... I stopped using game value now because I've realized that whenever I check it lately and I like scroll down to like where they have the listings to kind of like prove their point, I think their listings, the last like latest listing for anything I ever check is like from December, which is four months ago at this point. So I guess if you're using game value now, I'd suggest head back to eBay sold listings because that's actually where it's at. According to Game Value Now, this game goes for about $17. And current sold listings on eBay would say that's not actually true. So, I feel like I got a pretty good deal on this, considering the condition. Um, this does complete my Adventures of Lolo trilogy for the NES. However, it's probably my least favorite trilogy on the NES. At least, as far as me playing the first game and hating it. And dreading playing the second and third game on Let's Play Something. Alright, on to my last pickup. And this was actually the only pickup I had at the flea market last weekend when I was really sick and I couldn't record. Or I couldn't speak if I did record. Um, came across the booth that had a random mishmash of video game stuff. 
had a whole bunch of Sega Genesis games, mostly sports, had a whole bunch of Super Nintendo games, and or not Super Nintendo, N64 games, almost all sports. I basically was picking through his stuff and had $40 in my pocket, held everything up to him, and asked him what he would do. He wanted 45 I went like this. This is what I have. This is it. This is what I have that I'm showing you. And he wanted 45 I showed him, physically showed him, the $40, the only $40 I had on my persons, and he took it. Which I'm thankful for because this was a very good deal as it turned out. Um, first up, we got a Game Shark for the N64. This is a version 2.1. It goes for about $15. Obviously not going to be holding on to it. That's a recouper for me. Um, next up, an original GameCube controller, the black one. Um, let me know in the comments below if you know why this one's selling for a little bit more on eBay. Uh, the indigo one and the silver one are going for like 15 to 20. I'm seeing a lot of sold listings in the upper 20s, sometimes low 30s for the black one. I don't get it. Happy about it, but I don't get it. So I'm going to clean this up and hopefully I'll be able to get about 25 for it. Uh, which if you're keeping track at home, that's all of our money back. Now, the next three items, we have a complete in the box Madden 94. I realized that the 94 uh, sports games, I'm just drawn to them. I love NHL 94. I have both Madden 94s uh, now for the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. I have them both. And I have both NHL 94s for the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo. So 94 seems to be a pretty good year for sports games. Um, next up, he didn't have any of the cords or the controllers. We got a Super Nintendo that's actually in pretty nice shape. The power, uh, port is in good condition. Not broken or anything. Um, nothing seems to be wrong with it. I have yet to test it, to be honest with you. But, cosmetically, this is one of the better looking N... Yeah, N64. Cosmetically, this is one of the better Super Nintendos I think I've come across, so... I'll be testing it out, and we'll probably be selling that. I'm going to try and sell it locally. I don't really like to sell systems on eBay, because you're just asking for fucking trouble. But I figure if I can get together a small Super Nintendo bundle, I'll sell it on OfferUp or something. Um, and the last game, or the last item I have for this video, is actually a... I guess, uncommon PS1 game. This is Warcraft 2, The Dark Saga. Uh, goes for about $30, maybe a little bit more. Gonna be holding on to it for now. Uh, it's a strategy game, obviously, based on the old Warcraft games before they went MMO. They were all strategy games, real-time strategy from what I remember. So, hold on to it for now, maybe trade it if anybody's looking for it if rob mitchell wants it who knows but that's gonna do it for this episode um if everything goes right uh and while you're watching this on saturday morning i should be out hopefully hopefully successfully garage sailing and hopefully filming the first episode of Weekend Adventure and Video Game Hunting, which I'll be posting next weekend if everything goes all right. So cross your fingers, wish me luck, like the video, subscribe if you're new. If you want to go support me on Patreon, you can do that by clicking wherever I have it on the screen here, just like Dr. Doge Productions, Totterbert, and Hugh Stewart did. I appreciate all your support. Subscribe if you're new, and as always, keep it real, internet. I love you guys.